Hey everybody, this is David. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I put out a video, but I really had to do a video on this one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a Christian, and one of the ministries that I really love is called Passion for Christ Movement Ministries. And I just went on their website today, and I got the sad, sad news. I read the letter that Pastor Justin Cox and Minister Chris Facey have willingly decided to sit down for ministry due to things that have been going on in their life. Uh, maybe they don't feel like they have been the leaders that God has called them to be. They've slipped or fell in some areas in their lives. And so I just wanted to, to, to write, to make this video because that was so like shock and I was so surprising to me but then again you know the Bible tells us that we can't put confidence in our flesh and um, you know Pastor Justin Cox is a great teacher and I know Minister Facey has a lot of word on the inside of him but um, things happen and there were some things that went on in their life and it caused them to fall, but you know, none of us are perfect, and we all fall, we all have our shortcomings, we all have things that happen in our lives, you know, it just, I mean, like, when I read it, I was just so shocked and so surprised, because it, it was something that, like, I don't think anybody expected, or anybody is going to expect when they read the letter, I know it's going to be a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of things going on, a lot of people questioning, and they may even question the ministry. Some of them might have already had a question in their mind about the ministry, and this may have put something else in their mind to confer what they feel, what they think is wrong with the ministry. But, you know, I've always had a strong feeling about that ministry. And the thing, I always say this, I've said it in my videos and the people that I've talked to, I love Passion for Christ movement because... Passion for Christ is not just the name of the church. It's who they are and what they are. They're passionate for Jesus Christ. And just because Justin, Pastor Justin, and Minister Facey has some, some uh, hardships and they fail, doesn't mean that they don't have a passion for Christ. It doesn't mean that they don't love Jesus. You know, they use David as an example in the letter. David loved G God with all of his heart. You know, David was called a man after God's own heart. But even he fell, even he slipped. You know, a lot of people in the Bible, they were really close to God and they fell and they slipped and they had their moments. But God forgave them. But even though God forgave them, there was always there's always a punishment for sin. There's always something that's that's coming. And so, you know, I'm not trying to condemn anybody. I love everybody in Passion for Christ movement. I love him so much. I love Pastor Justin Cox, Minister Facey, all of them. Shout out to all the P4CM. Look, I'm rocking my X shirt. I mean, let me back up. Got my X slave shirt on. Yeah, X slave descent. So, you know, I rock P4CM. Got all three of the Lyricist Lounge DVDs, and I can't wait for part four to come out on DVD. But um, I just wanted to make this video, man, because you know, it was such a shocker. Like, I'm like, dang. But then again, you know, it's like, you never know, you know, Satan's always busy. He's always busy. He's always trying to get, you know, the, this, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to say something. What we Christians don't understand is that the devil, he's not after the world because he already has the world. The devil's after the people in the church. Why? Because at one time he did have them. But he wants them again. So what he does, notice how the Bible, the Bible says that the devil comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And if you study the characteristics of the lion or the lioness, because the lionesses do the hunting, what they'll do is when they're going to hunt their prey, they'll pick out the weakest in the herd to go after to get their prey and so the enemy has the same tactics he goes and he walks along the aisles and he walks up and down the aisles he walks around the chancellor area and he's looking for that weak christian that weak christian that he can pick off and you know that's what happens the enemy you know he comes sometimes he tries to pick us off that's why we need to be prepared that's why we need to keep each other in prayer 
And most definitely, I'm going to keep Pastor Justin Cox in prayer. I'm going to keep Minister Facey in prayer. And I'm going to keep all the Passion for Christ movement in prayer. Because those are our brothers and our sisters, y'all. You know, we can't we can't be so quick to judge them and so quick to be down there. Though. That's our brothers and our sisters. And yeah, they fell. You know, yes, you know, Pastor Justin fell. Pat Minister Facey fell. But, you know, they're still our brothers, and we still got to love on them because we got to go back into our mind. And before we get any opinions up in our mind, we got to think, wait a minute. At one point, I fell. At one point, I slipped. At one point, I tripped up. You know, and look what happened. And so, and this is going to, I'm going to talk to some of the people at Passion for Christ, the church, you know, because now I don't know, I don't know people, like I've never been there. But I know that, you know, situations like this cause a lot of people in churches to start having opinions and be like, oh, you know, I knew this was going to happen or, you know, it's a lot of stuff. But just because Pastor Justin Cox fell and Minister Facey fell, don't be so quick, members of Passion for Christ movement and body of Christ, period, to point a finger at them. Because at one point, you guys were there, and your pastor was there for you, and he was loving you, and he was praying for you. On the same, on the same note, body of Christ, you know, when it comes to anybody that falls, any pastor or leader, we need to show them love. But when they fall, we need to exercise wisdom. We need to exercise wisdom and allow the spirit to speak to our hearts on the situation because, you know, when leadership falls, that's that's a serious thing. You know, it's 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 it's, it's different from when a person in the pew falls because a person in the pew doesn't have the responsibility that a pastor or a minister or a deacon or anybody in leadership has. A person in the pew is just a Christian and may be involved in ministry, but he comes or she comes to church and, you know, they don't have the responsibilities that the leadership does. And because there's the leadership, there's a certain accountability and responsibility for them because God, especially with pastors and preachers and ministers, because God uses them, God speaks to them to speak to his people. And so when a minister or a pastor falls or comes out of position, then it's very hard or it's, if not impossible, for that person to hear from God on the behalf of the people because God shuts down from that because that leader needs to get in position. And I know for a fact myself, I there's some areas in my life I need to get in position, you know, and, and I hear it all the time. Like in my pastor's prayer, and, you know, I pray that it's in your pastor's prayer that, you know, that he wouldn't teach or she wouldn't teach anything that she or he is not striving to live themselves. So, you know, when there are certain things that come up in our lives where it causes us to fall, then it causes God to shut down. He never leaves us, but he shuts down and we can't receive from him and he we can't hear from him. So... What I'm trying to say is that we can't hear from him. And so if we can't hear from him, then we can't, you know, we can't give a word to the people because God stopped speaking to us for a time. You know, now I'm I'm not saying that God stopped speaking to you altogether because he'll definitely speak to you about you. But as it relates to giving a word to somebody else, you need to get back in position. And in the letter, it stated how they were around pastors and ministers and all these people, you know, to help them get restored and everything. And I pray that, you know, they have a good counsel or have godly counsel. You know, the scripture says in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. So, you know, I pray that everything works out. You know, whether or not Pastor Justin Cox is going to be a pastor again or brother past brother Cox is going to be a pastor again or Chris Face is going to be a minister again. You know, only the Lord knows where he's going to send them. Only the Lord knows what path he has for them, that road that they're going to take. And so, you know, whether it is going back into ministry, praise the Lord. If it's not, praise the Lord anyway. 
you know, but uh, I just wanted to make this video because that one was a shocker for me. But um, I wanted to say I love you, Pastor Justin Cox. I love you, Minister Facey. I love my passion for Christ Movement family. I still want to come visit y'all, and one day I'll be there. All right? I love y'all. God bless you. And to whoever's watching this video, I want to let you know that, yeah, we have problems in the body of Christ. There are things that happen all the time. But I'm telling you that Jesus, he is real and he works. And even though there's all this stuff that's going on in the church, Jesus saves. And there is a true church in the earth. So I would encourage you that if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, that you would accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to fill you up, and that you will find yourself a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church if you have not done so already. All right. Take care, guys.